What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview. And we have the Strasbourg Open this week. It's actually the final WTA event before the French Open. It's the only one being played this week. Some big names are playing, but some names have also pulled out. So let's go have a look at the withdrawals. Taking a look at the withdrawal list, and it is a long list. A lot of players pulling out just before the French Open. Getting ready for that. Collins, she's pulled out. Goff is pulled out, who won an event last week. Kudamatova, she's out. Kuznetsova, Pavlichenkova, Podoroska, Risk, Rybakina, Tormo, Vekic, Vondrasova, and Wong has also pulled pulled out of this event. All right, starting at the top of the draw, and we have eight seeds in this one, but no seed gets a buy in the first round. Bianca Andreescu, she is playing this event. It's the first time we will be seeing her on clay in almost two years. We haven't seen her play on clay for a long, long time, and she is obviously number one seed. She takes on a qualifier in the first round, so a good start for her. The winner of that match is going to take on another qualifier because we've got two qualies going at it, so a great start for Andreescu. Then we have Venus Williams versus Castella. Winner of that match is going to take on either Doi or the number six seed, Jang. Then we have the number four seed, Putin Seva, taking on Pedersen. Winner of that's going to take on either Blinkova or Teichman in the second round. Then we have Christina Pliskova taking on Cornet. Winner of that match is going to take on either Habino or the number eight seed, Lynette, in the second round. So obviously the player that we're all looking at in this one is Bianca Andreescu. How will she do on the clay? We haven't seen her on clay for a long, long time. She had to pull out of both Madrid and Rome. This is her only warm-up tournament for the French Open. Also interested to see how Putin Seva does. The number four seed. Doesn't mind playing on clay, so it'll be interesting to see how she does this week. And also Venus Williams. She has dropped down the rankings over the last few months. So really interested to see how she can do in this event. And maybe she sets up a quarterfinal matchup with Andrescu, which would be awesome to see champ versus champ. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number five seed, Krajekova. She takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that takes on either Garcia or Diaz in the second round. Then we have Gracheva versus Borel. Winner of that match is going to take on either Davis or the number three seed, Alexandrova. Then we've got the number seven seed, Rogers taking on McHale. Winner of that match is going to take on a qualifier no matter what because we've got two qualies going at it. Then we've got Van Utbank versus the wildcard Tan. Winner of that match is going to take on either Rus or the number two seed Pagula, who's been in great form in 2021. The players to watch out for for me, Pagula, obvious one to watch out for. She's had a great season, had some big wins over top 10 players as well, including Osaka a couple of weeks ago on the clay. Also interested to see how Garcia does, former top 10 player and a French woman as well. Interested to see how she does, seeing that she is unseated in this event. So there you have it, the last WTA event before the French Open, which is starting next week. Let me know down in the comments below, who's going to win this one? Because there's some obvious choices, but then again, the WTA is not that obvious. Maybe someone random can win this event. Maybe an unseated player can win this event. So let me know down in the comments below, who are you picking to win this one? All right, having a look at the draw here, and as much as I like Andrescu, I'm going to go with Pagula to win this one. I think she's had some great wins, not just on the clay, but also in 2021 in general. So I'm going to go with her to win this event. I think she's got a pretty good draw as well. So Pagula is the pick for me. Again, let me know down in the comments below, who are you picking to win this one? So the Strasbourg Open, the last WTA event before the French Open starting next week.